OK, so in this video, we've got a particle of mass m kilos moving in a straight line as acted on by a force of magnitude kmv newtons in the direction of motion, where v meters per second is the speed of the particle at time t seconds. k here is a constant. Its displacement is x meters. At time t is 0, x is 0, and the speed of the particle is u meters per second. Show that a v equals u e to the kt and b x equals u over k times e to the kt minus 1. OK, so lots of letters here. OK, so we're generalizing this. So let's have a look at part a. OK, so a particle of mass m kilos. Moving in a straight line is acted on by a force of magnitude kmv newtons in the direction of motion. Okay, so the particle is moving along. We're going to resolve it horizontally. Okay, and what we're going to have is we've got kmv is the net force acting on the particle, and that's got to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So that's equal to the mass times by the acceleration, and the acceleration is the change of velocity over time, dv by dt. Okay, so with that in mind, we can cancel the m's from both sides because m's not going to be zero here. The, the particle's not going to be massless. So we get kv equals dv by dt. So if we divide both sides by v and multiply both sides by dt, we're going to get 1 over v dv is equal to k dt. Integrate both sides, so that's the separation of variables. We're going to have log v is equal to kt plus some constant c. OK. So that means that v, uh, e to the kt plus c, is just a e to the kt. OK, so for some constant a. So now we can introduce our initial conditions so that when t is 0, we know the speed of the particle is u. So when t is 0, v is u. So u equals a e to the 0. So u is a. So that means from that information, we have that v is equal to u e to the kt, which was precisely what was required. OK, so that's our first bit. Now for b, what you need to remember is that the velocity is the change in displacement over time. So v is dx by dt. So what I can now do is if I rearrange it so I've got all the t's on one side, so I'm multiplying both sides by dt. So we can use separation of variables, or you can just integrate both sides, OK? Either or. So u e to the kt dt, integrate both sides. So we get um, 1 integrating just x. And then we're going to get u e to the kt integrated. So that's 1 over k times u e to the kt plus some constant c of integration. So I've already used c, haven't I? I've used a, so let's use b. OK. So we know that when t is 0, x is 0. So if x is 0, t is 0, so we get u over k, OK, uh, plus b. So that means that b would have to be minus u over k. So x equals u over k e to the kt minus u over k. So if I factor the u over k out of a bracket, I'm going to have e to the kt minus 1 inside the bracket, which was precisely what we wanted to find. OK, so that's how we can solve that problem.